Thank you. First, you want to make sure you're, uh, before you call them at this end, make sure your uh, axles are properly on each one of the platforms because otherwise you'll be eating the price of it. And you won't get an accurate weight otherwise. Six four one one nine one. Six four one one nine one. Yep. All right, thank you, sir. Can you put the trailer number on there too? I can only do that when you come in after, and oh. we can put it up for you, sir. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's go see how much we're overweight. I'm pretty sure we're heavy on the trailer. I don't think we're overweight. We're just heavy on the trailer. I'm gonna have to slide them. Let's go find the parking uh, the spot for the camion. Camion is truck in French. For any of you who did not know that. guys let's just take a look at my scale ticket here you can see I'm good on the steers I'm good all the way around I'm good on the gross good on the trailer good on the drives but can anyone pick out the problem here okay so we're a little heavy on the trailer yes we're legal but you don't want to go down the road like that okay and the reason you don't want to go down the road like you want it's better to uh, carry the weight rather than pull the weight so what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to slide the axles so that we're uh, a little bit heavier on the drives than we are on the trailer so we want to bring the uh, the weight forward a little bit and that will give us a smoother ride by leaving the weight on the trailer you have more of a choppy ride uh, it's almost like a bucking bronco if you will if you can imagine a bucking bronco kicking you in the butt all the time and that's what ha is the reason why. Any of you guys have ever felt that going down the road and your trailer is just like kicking you in the back almost. It's because you're too heavy on your trailer and too light on your drives. So you always want to put, you know, the heavier portion onto the drives and get it off the trailer. So that's what we're going to go do. All right. So that's, uh, we're going to go back here. Well, I should have showed you in the truck. What you have to do with these is you have to uh, make sure that you the system's charged with air, then you pull the red knob out, leave your yellow one in, and what we're going to want to do is we're going to pull this knob right here. Okay, and when I pull this, watch the, uh, see how they just slide right in? Okay, so now we're going to slide the trailer tandems back a little bit. What I want to do is we're going to put this middle probably about here somewhere. Huh? Like I said, what we've done, this valve is out, this one's in, okay? So we don't need to use the spike. And we're just going to give it a small tug, make sure it's released. For whatever reason, there must be one on the other side sticking. So we're just going to push back there quickly. There. Uh, you doubt uh, you could hear it, but I heard the Canuck, so that means one of the little uh, Canuckles there was hanging on there. Okay. So we're going to go.
go check that now. And I apologize for the wind. It's a little windy out here today. So let's see how we did. Oh, we still got a little bit more to go. I think. Eh, we're not sure. We moved her back a little. Um, technically, this can be center of this axle. Okay. So we're going to slide just a little bit more. All right, so we're going to go back and check her one more time. We're going to see here. Yeah, it's about where I wanted it. It's almost, I don't know if you can see, I made a mark here. So it's almost dead center. Couldn't get too much closer. So what we're going to do is we're going to push this in. And you can see it's pushed out. So now all we got to do is slide it back and it'll clock into that hole there. So we're going to go up on the scale again, and we're going to double check our, to see if we did good with it. Okay, so what I should have done guys quickly, and I should have showed you, what you're doing is it's about 250 to 300 pounds per hole when you're moving it. Uh, it depends on the spread between the holes here. Uh, so Okay, so if you guys remember, Okay, we were 30,000 on the drives and 32,100 on the uh, trailer. And actually, it was probably about seven holes. Uh, actually, probably about six holes. Yeah, it stands more to reason because I'm going to show you now the reway ticket. And the reway ticket, so you can see, we've pushed the 2,000 almost up to there which is what I wanted okay so when you look at the two well, it's kind of hard to uh, put them like this okay so you can see the difference okay so I took the weight off the trailer and pushed it up onto the drive so now it's going to ride smooth because we're carrying the weight rather than pulling the bulk of the weight I always forget to hit the override freaking thing so yeah and you know guys don't ex you new one you new guys don't expect to get that right off the bat like that you, you're gonna have to play with it to figure it out it may take you a couple of reways but the good part is most companies pay for the scale and if all of us and reways are only like well here in Canada they're two dollars I think they're like a buck down in the States for a reway so even if you make a couple of mistakes it's not like it's gonna cost you a whole bunch okay also guys remember when you're scaling that's on duty time okay uh, those those receipts are time stamped okay so when they check those receipts if it's not marked on your log you get in big trouble okay so on duty time for scaling 